going on you guys? It is that time again for another TTM Player Era project. This time we're going to do our first non-NFL Hall of Famer. Um, we're going to do Steve Atwater, which that's kind of a cheat because Steve Atwater will be elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Um, it could be sooner than later, you just never know because he has some crazy, crazy good career statistics. Um, so I'm pretty pumped about this one. I w I've been wanting to do a non-Hall of Famer for a while now, um, and I think I picked a pretty good one. Um, some other ones I want to do in the future is like Ernest Givens, Ray Childress, um, Joe Theismann, Ken Anderson I think would be another great one. Um, I just have stacks and stacks of completed player era cards. I've just been waiting on the money to send them. So... I think I picked a good one to get off the hitch here and get, get underway with getting some of these done. So we'll turn it around and check out the cards. Steve Atwater. Um, this is probably not the rookie card that you would select um, to send. You'd probably pick the 1989 score. Um, that's the one that, that looks like the Barry Sanders key rookie, Troy Aikman's key rookie. And normally I would do that because it's it's not a very expensive card, but I actually already have that card signed. So I went ahead and went with the 1989 tops on this one. So Steve Atwater, not a Hall of Famer, but damn man, these stats are gonna definitely let you know that he should be in the Hall of Fame. 11 year career, 10 of them with the Broncos, one with the Jets, he went to his uh, to the Jets his last year of his career like so many freaking big-time players do They just want to hang on to it for one more year um, And they just in my opinion look very 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 different and that Jersey that we're not used to seeing and I've said it in past videos But when I say that the first one that comes to my mind is always Emmett Smith in a Cardinals uniform he was selected to eight Pro Bowls, two All-Pros, and won two Super Bowls. Now, when I think about Steve Atwater, I personally don't think about those two Super Bowls. I think about John Elway. I think about Terrell Davis. Um, and he just didn't come to mind. And when I got to doing some research on him for this project, I learned that he pretty much retired after winning that second Super Bowl. And you can see that Jets logo right there. This is his last player era card, at least tops wise. And then this card is very, very cool. This card, I believe, came out a year after he retired. Um, but I really like it nonetheless. And then if you're a kid of the 80s, even though these did not come out in the 80s, these came out in the early 90s, um, you have to remember these. Coca-Cola had a deal um, for quite a while in, uh, what was it, like September into October, way back in the day, where they had a bunch of key um, NFL players at the time dress up in these outfits, and I think they are so freaking cool. This is very, very nostalgic for me. Um, came out in, what is that, 1994. So, really, really cool. So that is the Steve Atwater project. Um, I'm not exactly, there's my donation. I'm not exactly 100% sure if these will come back. Um, and I didn't ask him for any type of inscription because over the past six months, he started personalizing cards. And I think the reason he started personalizing cards is because more and more people were asking him um, to sign their TTMs. And I think he probably assumed that was because they're selling it and so on and so forth. And people do think he will get elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in the next year or two. Um, just because he was such a damn good ball player. Um, so that is that. Um, I didn't ask for any um, inscription because I asked him, please do not personalize. And I'm hoping that $100 will motivate him not to personalize the cards so that is that let's see what happens y'all going on you guys it came back let's see boop, 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 boop. yep i just covered that up um so this is my first non-hall of fame player era project 
Um, I have no idea if it's going to be a success or not, obviously, because it's not open, um, so it's kind of dumb. I'm, I'm on the pre-workout, man, so you kind of got to excuse me. Um, I honestly expect this not to be a success, because Steve Atwater, um, over the past six months, not only started personalizing, but he's been just a little bit more difficult to get. Um, but I'm pretty damn excited to turn the camera around and see what's going on here, so let's get to it. Let's try take three of this. Um, these player eras have been, really been rolling in lately, and this is the first time I think they've canceled the stamps. They canceled the hell out of these. Um, so, let's take a peel and see what we got here. Uh. Yeah, buddy. Um, future Hall of Famer for sure, man. Let's see. I don't think that's a card I sent. Oh, man. And it's inscribed. <laughs> I don't like where this is going, dude. Uh, it says, thanks, Garrett. Steve Atwater in black, which I sent a blue. I don't know. Oh, man. That's kind of what I was worried about. Let's see. Let's see. Let's just go straight to the back and see what we got. Oh, well, it's definitely signed, and that's in blue. So, you know what? Let's just not cheat too much, and let's just see what we got here. <laughs> that isn't inscribed. That's not, that's not personalized, I mean. Um, that's freaking cool, dude. Has the Super Bowl inscriptions signed in my blue that I sent. Oh, this is promising, man. This is promising. Yes. Okay. Oh, I thought for a second that the Super Bowl inscriptions weren't there, which would have been fine. Um, but they're there, man. In blue. This is awesome, man. No personalization. I guess he was just writing thanks on that card that I sent him a cash donation. Um, from what I've been seeing, nobody has been sending him any cash. Or donation, or whatever the heck you want to call it. Man, that looks really sharp. Oh yeah, my favorite design of tops right here. A lot of people think that he's going to be getting inducted in the Hall of Fame this year. And I have to say, it just would not surprise me one bit. He was just so good at his position for so damn long. Love these 92 um, upper deck cards. The images, they chose is just very very clean and crisp a lot of times second year card and rookie card so there it is folks um i think this is my first non-hall of fame player era project um i'm pretty confident this one took about three weeks or so. I'm really, really happy, man. And I'm hoping a year from now that this dude will be in the Hall of Fame. So, um, gosh, dog, man, that was just awesome. I was so, so nervous when I seen that first card personalized. Um, happy that it was just basically a, a, a thank you card. So that is that. Till next time. Adios. Be safe. Bye-bye. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Toodles.